Good evening, and welcome to a festival of nine lessons and carols at St. Charles Borromeo Seminary. I am Deacon David Buffum, your Master of Ceremonies, and it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you our choir, who has been working hard to lead us into the mystery of this Advent season through scripture and song, the mystery of our Lord entering into history for the sake of our redemption led by Dr. Nathan Knudsen. The choir promises you a performance that we all hope will deeply prepare each of you for the Feast of Christmas. Later in our concert, we will have a free will offering for the New Jerusalem Now program, which I will speak more about when the time comes. But for now, we ask that you silence your cell phones, relax, and enter into the Advent season. We present to you the Seminary Choir of St. Charles Borromeo.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide fairly for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips, he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the peoples. Him, the nations will seek out. His dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord.
reading from the book of Psalms. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his marvelous deeds. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised, to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and power go before him. Power and grandeur are in his holy place. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and might. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Bow down to the Lord, splendid in holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. Declare among the nations, the Lord is king. The world will surely stand fast, never to be shaken. He rules the peoples with fairness. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then let the trees of the forest rejoice before the Lord who comes, who comes to govern the earth, to govern the world with justice and the peoples with faithfulness. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks.
reading from the letter to the Ephesians. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord.
It's beautiful, wasn't it? And you also sounded so well as well. Thank you very much for participating. At this time, we are going to have our free will offering. You will see the ushers with their baskets. What they are going to do is pass the baskets in the sections and they'll just form a snake going through. The proceeds of this evening's collection will benefit New Jerusalem Now, a home for addiction recovery in North Philadelphia. New Jerusalem Now, operated by the Medical Mission Sisters, seeks to provide a spiritual community focused on the principles of nonviolence, simplicity, and cooperative living. As the scourge of addiction creates an urban desert in our cities, New Jerusalem Now provides a place to find healing of mind, body, and soul. Recovery from substance abuse is about the radical change from death to life, from darkness to light, from self-will to God's will. It involves the mystery of conversion and the aspiration to fullness of life in God. The proceeds tonight will aid New Jerusalem Now, helping to bring about this healing and conversion to those who need it most. With us tonight as our guests are some of the members of the community at New Jerusalem Now, and we all thank you for your generosity.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, stripping kings of their strength, opening doors before him, leaving the gates unbarred. I will go before you and level the mountains. Bronze doors I will shatter, iron bars I will snap. I will give you treasures of darkness, riches hidden away, that you may know I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by name. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name, giving you a title, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, there is no other, there is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you do not know me, so that all may know from the rising of the sun to its setting, that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make real and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, you heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the clouds drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let righteousness spring up with them. I, the Lord, have created this. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name were born, not only by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh, and was made his dwelling among us. And he saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? since I have no relations with a man. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Joseph went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David to be enrolled with Mary, his espoused wife, who was with child. And it came to pass that when they were there, her days were accomplished that she should deliver. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him up in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And they were there at the same, in the same country, shepherds watching and keeping the night watches over their flock. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the brightness of God shone round about them, and they feared with a great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy that shall be to all the people. For this day is born to you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord in the city of David. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly army praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. The Gospel of the Lord.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Whereupon Joseph, being a just man, and not willing publicly to expose Mary, was of the mind to divorce her privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in his sleep, saying, Joseph, son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceiving her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which the Lord spoke by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which bring, being interpreted is God with us. And Joseph, rising up from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord hath commanded him, and took unto him his wife. And he knew her not till she brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Virgin Mary had a baby boy. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. According to Matthew. And the eleven disciples went into Galilee, unto the mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And seeing him, they adored, but some doubted. And Jesus coming spoke to them, saying, All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Going therefore, teach ye all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you all days, even to the consummation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Christ.
the first line of my text says, how about another round of applause for Dr. Nathan Knudsen and the St. Charles Bar Mayo Seminary Choir? I am Bishop Timothy Sr. I have the great joy of being the rector of St. Charles Barmeo Seminary and a part-time substitute uh, accompanist for the seminary choir. Thank you all for coming today. I often say, and people don't believe me, but actually being the rector of St. Charles Barmeo Seminary is the most fun job I've ever had in my, my priestly ministry. I, and it really is, in addition to all of the other many wonderful awards and rewards, and it is great. Thank you for coming today uh, to Open House and, of course, to this, to this concert this evening. You are most welcome. And uh, we're, we just also want to welcome those who are following us on, on live stream. Uh, and I, I believe this will be posted again so you can listen and watch it again throughout the Christmas season as it approaches. Uh, we have been preparing for this, uh, this day for in many ways in recent weeks. And, and so we're just really delighted that so many of you have accepted the invitation to visit the seminary for Open House. And, for our annual Christmas concert. I'm inspired every day by our seminarians. Together with our talented and dedicated administration, faculty and staff here at St. Charles, this open house and Christmas concert afford me an opportunity to recognize them and to thank them for all that they are for the seminary and for the church. We are truly blessed to have them. It is our intention today in this concert, first and foremost, to give you an experience of the hope and the promise of these Advent days, which focuses us always on the person of Jesus Christ, whose birth we prepare to celebrate at Christmas. He is always with us. But as we prayed today at Mass for the second Sunday of Advent, various concerns and challenges in our lives can get in the way, or as the Collect said, hinder those who set out in haste to meet Jesus. Our hope and our prayer for all of you and for your loved ones is that you may know and experience the loving presence of Jesus and his mercy, not only today, but always. And that God will remove or transform whatever might hinder that experience of Jesus present in your lives as Emmanuel. I think that the seminary is a particularly great place to experience that, especially these days, with many confusing and frightening concerns in our world and in our country, and as we know so painfully in our church. The seminary, most especially our seminarians, are a living reminder that the Holy Spirit is active in the church and that Jesus' promise to us is real. I am with you always until the end of time. I hope that you have experienced, as you leave here tonight, that you have experienced some sense of the vitality of the seminary community. The seminarians whom you have encountered on your visit today are among the 172 men who are in formation for the Catholic priesthood here at St. Charles. This year, we have been blessed with the largest enrollment this seminary has had since the year 2000. Our seminarians come from 12 dioceses and five religious congregations, with 71 in formation to be priests for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. But the seminary would not be possible without the prayers and the generous support of our benefactors, some of whom are with us today, and we're so grateful that you accepted the invitation to come. We are blessed with an outstanding board of trustees and board committees as well. The annual seminary appeal, which is underway, provides essential income for this current year of formation for these seminarians here today. And we are extremely grateful to the people of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and beyond who continue to support this mission, which is a core mission of our local church, the formation of men for the priesthood together with the formation of our permanent deacons and our students in the School of Theological Studies. The faithful support of our benefactors is also a reminder of the action of the Holy Spirit in the church and of Jesus' abiding presence with us. 
I want to take this opportunity to call attention to two of our generous supporters, Lucille and Jerry Francesco. Lucille passed away over the summer, and we feel her loss in a very special way this evening. We are blessed with the presence here of her dear husband, Jerry, and her son as well, and other members of her family and dear friends. With Jerry, Lucille loved the seminary and our seminarians and cared deeply for our mission. Lucille also loved music. Anyone who knew her knew that for sure, which is why I can't help but think that here today at this Christmas concert, because she loved this event so much and loved her seminarians so much, I'm confident that she's still enjoying it and smiling down upon us today from heaven. I am truly blessed this evening to announce to you all that through the, the, the generosity of Jerry Francesco and his family, the Lucille M. Francesco Chair of Sacred Music has been established in Lucille's memory. And Dr. Nathan Knudsen, who has been the director of our Sacred Music program just since last January, will be the inaugural holder of the Lucille M. Francesco Chair of Sacred Music at St. Charles Borromeo Seminary. Of course, this is wonderful news for the seminary, as music is such an important part of our lives together in this community and an important part of the formation of future priests. So we are extremely grateful to the Francesco family for their generosity in honoring the memory of our beloved Lucille in this way. Thank you so very much. We will be making an official announcement of the establishment of the Lucille Francesco Chair of Sacred Music tomorrow through a press release and our regular communication channels on social media. I encourage you to keep in touch with us here at the seminary, the many events and programs that we have through our website, as well as through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the seminarian's own blog, Seminarian Casual. Thank you again for coming. And we really do pray that these Advent days will be a time of grace for you and all of your loved ones, and that the coming celebration of Christmas will be a source of renewal and blessing for all. If you please stand, I'll be happy to give you a blessing and we'll sing our our closing hymn together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We may heaven and earth. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Please be safe going home. God bless you. Sounding.